Hello Autobots, Decepticons, and fellow Cybertronians. I'd like to welcome you guys all to the main event in our first corner. We have the silent but deadly sound wave. In our second corner, one beep for ready, two beeps for blasting Decepticons, Bumblebee. Let's check the rules here real quick. We want to make sure this is a good, clean fight. You can never be too careful over these quiet ones. They are the ones you got to look out for. They know how to cause a ruckus. So we're going to do this in the desert. Get ready, bring your own snacks, bring your own energon, and hopefully Ravage is around because we're going to need someone to clean up the scraps. Looks like we have takeoff from Soundwave to start. Ooh, with a nice little spin, letting Bumblebee know that his Morse code does not belong on his frequency. And then we got Bumblebee striking back, that quick little scout. You can never count him out of anything, but Soundwave, I don't know. I have my money on him this game just because he's more of the assassin and he's more ruthless. But we will see what happens. Like I'm saying, Bumblebee, he just does not give up. And sometimes he does get the best of Soundwave. And sometimes getting the best is beeping in his ear because that can be extremely annoying. And Soundwave also extremely annoying with the uppercut on Bumblebee. Not too bad. And then blast him. And look at this, Soundwave up close and personal, that's something new. Without his mini cons here and in the audience, there's nothing that they can do to help him, which makes this a pretty fair fight. But we will see what he has up his sleeves. I never trust a con that can't make up his mind between a tape deck, a lamppost, and now a military drone. Come on, Soundwave, make a decision. So Bumblebee gets the consistency points of always having four wheels. But wheels won't win you this battle. This is going to be a tough one. It's going to go right down to the end. And right now we might have our first game breaker. Soundwave with his special. Using what he does best. Shooting out sound waves from who knows where. This guy is a human radio. And he will use it and abuse it on Bumblebee. But Bumblebee has a nice counter there. And comes back with a couple uppercuts. And then a flip kick of his own. This is not an easy bot to fight against. He always has Arsenal up his sleeve. And Soundwave on the low ground here, not a good spot, especially if you want to hang out on the satellite later. But we will see if that is scheduled to air as right now Bumblebee is rolling through. He floats and he stings like a bee. So here he comes at you, coming live. He's got a special. We could have Soundwave in trouble right now. We're going to see we have a strategic block. The first time we've seen it between these two. And Soundwave with a nice counter reading Bumblebee's mind. And now he has him pinned. This does not look good for the yellow Autobot. But we will see this is going to go right down to it. Soundwave gets a couple shots in. And keeping the high ground with a strategic dive. Very nice move by Soundwave. And I don't think Bumblebee ended up landing enough shots when he had his special. That could come back to cost him in this game. As right now, this looks like Soundwave's match to lose. As he's coming through with the uppercut. And then some fancy flying there. I know, you got some wings. And you never had him before as a lamppost. But let's not get too cocky here, Soundwave. But he does a good job of deflecting Bumblebee's shots with his own waves. And he wins! Can we hear from our victor? Just say something. Come on, Soundwave. Say something for me. Booyah. Booyah is right. Soundwave superior, Bumblebee inferior.